making your corporate colors available by default in the color palette will help users create diagrams in your company's official style faster and more reliably. There are three different color sets you can customize. Default Color Schemes changes the colors that are available at the top of the format panel, usually used to quickly style shapes. Preset Colors changes the colors in the top color palette. Default Colors changes the colors in the lower large color palette. Let's change the colors in the top two rows of the color palette first. First, go to the Confluence Administration area and click on Draw I.O. Configuration. Here you can add your list of colors using the format shown. This is also written in the YouTube video description. Remember, to change even a single color, you must include all the hex values of the palette. Back in the Draw I.O. editor, you can see the changes we have made. Now, let's change the colors in the lower large color palette. In the Draw I.O. Configuration section in Confluence's Administration area, add the code to configure the large palette's default colors, change their hex values, and click Save. And again, you must include all the hex values for the entire palette, even if you want to change just one color. Back in the Draw I.O. Editor, you can see the new colors in our palette. Editing the default color schemes changes the colors that are available at the top of the format panel. If you change the default color schemes, make sure you add a leading hashtag to the color codes. And note that they consist of two parts. One code is for the fill color, and one for the border. You can add as many color schemes as you like. We have created three blocks with eight color schemes in each block. Then click Save. Back in the diagram edit mode, we can use all of our new styles and colors. You can add as many different custom colors as you like using the three methods above. You can see code we use to specify our custom colors in the description of this video.